Right, today I'm going to be giving you a rundown on Happy Chaos's gun, the mechanics behind it, and breaking down stuff you might not know. Uh, it's mostly not as complicated as you might feel, but I do know a lot of people aren't super comfortable with it when playing as or against Happy Chaos, so uh, let me start. Now, first off, Happy Chaos does not have any H-normals. What he does have is a 6k and a 6s to compensate, uh, alongside being able to pull the gun by pressing or holding heavy slash. This is known as at the ready or ATR, uh, ATR mostly being used for notation, but during this video, I'm probably going to use both interchangeably. While in at the ready, Happy Chaos passively drains concentration, is no longer able to block, and the reticle spawns at a random location around his opponent. He's able to fire at the reticle, which is highlighted in blue if it's going to hit, consuming one bullet and some concentration. Both concentration costs vary depending on how far away he is. If Chaos reaches zero bullets, he can no longer fire and must reload. The first bullet takes 21 frames, and each bullet after that takes 9. They're able to cancel reload after the first with any action, including specials and movement. The X Machina also allows you to reload your bullets to full. If Chaos reaches zero concentration, attempting to pull the gun out forces you into an animation, and you won't be able to act for a moment. Concentration can only be actively gained back using either Super Focus or Regular Focus, both of which apply a buff for 10 to 5 seconds respectively. Otherwise, Concentration passively regenerates. Right, now we covered the basics, we're going to be talking about the reticles some more. So, like I said, the reticle spawns at a random location from the opponent, including on top of them. I'm going to show you this chart made by Bedless Sleeper, the best Australian Gold Lewis and a very dedicated lava. I'll have his uh, info in the description. We need to take away from it though, while well, Happy Chaos is on the ground, the reticle has a 35% chance to spawn on top of you immediately. And while he's in the air, that goes down to roughly 9%. Now, if it doesn't spawn on top of the opponent, he has to wait for them to either walk into it, or wait some time after it's spawned for it to start tracking. Uh, the reticle also does reset its positioning if Chaos uses a special or a normal. Now, if the opponent is cursed, the reticle will start to track the opponent a lot faster and much sooner. However, it doesn't affect the location or the speed at which you can fire. Uh, what it does do, however, is make it easier to cover normals due to the tracking buff. But um, the reticle does still struggle to catch moving opponents. Now, if the opponent is in hit stun or block stun, by the time the reticle is out, it will immediately spawn on top of the opponent 100% of the time. So this allows him to structure offense and combos in a way that doesn't rely on RNG and uh, allows him to also chain shots together like so. Now the only exception to this rule is that when the opponent is cursed and Happy Chaos uses roll, the reticle does in fact track faster and uh, hits pretty consistently as you can see. Now there are some nice niche uses to this but I'll likely go over them in a future video rather than this one. Now we've covered at the ready, so we're going to be talking about Steady Aim, which is Happy Chaos' second gun stance. So it's similar in a lot of ways, it drains co uh, concentration passively, allows you to fire bullets, but it's different for a few reasons. Now when you go into Steady Aim, you can't move or use any normals at all, but you do bring up a new reticle that once it locks onto the opponent, it cannot be escaped under normal circumstances. Uh, it spawns on frame 18, you can fire on frame 19, it does more damage and knocks the opponent up on hit instead of keeping them grounded. Now after it spawns, you can wait some extra time and charge a clean hit, which does more damage, guard crushes, uh, does extra chip damage, and um, knocks the opponent higher up. If the opponent is cursed, the reticle will spawn on top of the opponent 100% of the time and charge a clean hit faster. And if the opponent is in block stun or hit stun, the reticle will once again spawn on top of the opponent no matter what and clean hit on frame 7, even faster than before. Uh, Stidium can only really be cancelled using another special or Roman cancel. Now, if you've watched this video without having learned anything new, that's understandable. I did just want to make this to cover some of the very basics that I know a lot of people are still uncertain about and help those who aren't 100% sure. Uh, I do have some longer form videos I'm currently working on, so you don't need to worry about expecting a hiatus the length of the one I've just had before I come back. So you can look forward to that, and I will see you all next time. Thank you very much.